Hello everybody, this is Fraser Nash here from Microprose. Uh, recently, uh, Warren and I was released by Microprose. We did a walkthrough teaching you how to play this game. Uh, well, we thought it's about time we revisited that and do it all over again, but show off some <laughs> new bits and also one little bit of an exclusive we're going to be showing off as well. <laughs> In the middle, so we'll basically have a custom first, then an exclusive look at something new that's come into the game, and then we'll play Men vs. Bots. <laughs> or basically basically us two. <laughs> what are you doing, man? And what's life been like since you um, had the game released? Yeah, it's uh, it's been great. I have been having multiple projects in the works without saying too much, but I'm very excited to be showing you this little bit that uh, yeah, we're going to take a look at in a while. But how, been, how are actually, you been? <clears throat> yeah. I've, actually, as I've, I've been locked in this room all day, it feels like. Um, right. Basically, I'm in Stockholm! <laughs> Oh yeah, I'm in Gothenburg. Yeah, so yeah, Gothenburg. same country, but still a couple of miles yeah. off. But luckily, I mean, it's we... more than a couple. Of, it's about four hundred <laughs> three miles away. Yeah. <laughs> right. So, should we begin and start with the custom game, and then you can basically explain stuff as we're going through? Yeah. Let's do it. So yeah, let's jump into single player, and take a look at the custom games, uh, and have a look at all the different settings that you can access from here. So. Straight off the bat, you have uh, three presets, and they will roughly determine the size of the armies and the, also the length of the game. Uh, so we have Skirmish, which is a small battle, a battle which is in between, and a theater where the maps and the armies are going to be big. I like the battle uh, preset. It's, I think it strikes a nice balance between epicness and uh, <laughs> not dragging on for too long. <laughs> so these have uh, set up uh, the settings for us. So the maximum army size is a brigade each. Uh, we have 12,000 starting credits. And uh, this is the time that the victory locations uh, that we will fight over will last. We have game speed and spawn options as well. So I'm going to go ahead and add in a few bots. Uh, I think uh, two versus two is nice. Uh, have a little bit of team, team play going on. Uh, and then there is unit settings. Um, so here you can access some options. Uh, the game comes with uh, eight core unit types that you can access and a variety of different strikes that you can use. But there is also elite units, which is like very, very units with specific utility, uh, which you can only field once if you uh, are able to acquire them. Uh, so if you want to go for a really pure game without uh, a more chess-like, like pure experience, you can remove all the elites and advanced strikes. But I think we we leave all in for for this demo. <laughs> uh, and then we have map options, of course. Of course, here you can pull all the sliders. You can set map size and amount of victory locations. And let's preview our map. Uh, so this looks interesting. We have like a very divided area here. Yeah, and there's only there's only one gully way by the look of it to get through to this as well. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that, this could be. Nasty few, but it, the point seems to be evenly split. Let, let's do one more and see what what algorithm comes up with. Uh, so in a few moments we have another one. Uh, uh, this looks we have a huge uh, urban area yeah. down here, <coughs> which could be scary to enter and nice distribution of points. I think I like this one. Let's let's go for it. Yep. So yeah, we have a team uh, two versus two set up. So let's jump right in. Uh, and what we can do is we can take a little quick tactical pause uh, from the beginning and have a look. So it looks like our team. I was going to say, our, our teammate is literally miles away from us. <laughs> yeah. And we started quite a bit off down here. So yeah, yeah. we can t try to make a plan of how to link up with them. And, and of course, in this game, the enemies, it's not like StarCraft or something like that, where you have yeah. completely symmetrical maps. Uh, people can potentially start anywhere with, with some with a few limitations uh, but but yeah so it's very important to establish a perimeter right off the bat and move carefully uh, from the get-go so my, my plan when i'm looking at this is maybe maybe going going for an amphibious force and cross here Ooh, to link up, link up in this city and then maybe push together um hopefully nothing is is there and it, this will also be determined of what kind of generals we have access to from the beginning so here's one with which come with some recon and some attack helicopters. So this is obviously a nice and mobile force. The first one packs a little more firepower with mechanized infantry and a gunship. Here we have howitzer and uh, helicopters. Howitzers might be a bit slow since we are so far off. I like the middle uh, do one. You know, do you know what? Uh, howitzers are great, but I think 
because we're gambling and we're going cross water, mm. which we're pretty much going to be protected because of basically being in water. Yeah. Houses are great, but in this instance, we're so far away. Yeah. It would, but made they, if they get attacked halfway, yeah. they're slow and clumsy. Good firepower, but if there's something fast coming towards them, yeah, nice idea. Go with the helicopters. I love helicopters. They open yeah. up the area. <laughs> we'll start, start with mobility uh, <laughs> with helicopters. So what I yeah. like to do is start my first regiment. Remember, we have a brigade, which consists of three regiments. And uh, I like to like spread out a few uh, recon companies. Uh, so I'm going to send out... So from the first platoon, the first company, I will send out three different platoons to three different spaces. Uh, mm -hmm. And if it looks safe, we try to cross our entire army over this water area. Uh, I can also assign a recon unit to my HQ there. You can see my, my HQ just uh, changed over to a, a recon unit as well. So our entire force is now amphibious. Also, uh, I think we also we should also remind people the black lines are roads, yeah. uh, and by de by default, our forces will go the quickest route because on a road mm. you can drive like mad. Yeah, right. No speed limits. For a forest, no speed limits. <laughs> for a forest, it's a bit you know more difficult. Green areas, be difficult. Sand is even worse. Yeah. But on a road, heck, I mean, I know it's going all the way down the bottom and then all the way back up. But that will basically make up for the, you know, for the uh, the distance and the difficulty of going through a forest. Yeah, yeah. When you're playing with the recon forces, you, it's it's very important to uh, to uh, move through the right terrain. So using the fast move, it will prioritize roads and uh, open terrain where it's faster and try not to go into cities. Okay, here we have an interesting development. Looks like the AI is right in between us. <laughs> yes, yeah, so, because you know, so I was just about to point. Did 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 you notice the red spot in the middle? Yeah, <laughs> in, the, in, the, in the direction we're going. <laughs> so maybe we, if we really quick here, look like our AI has uh, noticed that as well and is going yeah. going with a huge force of. Uh, we have some mo uh, mechanized recon and uh, looks like battle tanks and uh, mechanized infantry supported by howitzers from from the north so if we're quick here maybe we can sandwich our one of our uh, enemies uh, in this area so we obviously need to be careful with our high ranking units uh, you never want to send them in uh, no. first because uh, yeah our, our forces are organized in this tree structure and if you lose if you are to lose a high ranking unit you also lose control of all the subordinates under that it's a very important part of the game to try to keep your uh, large icons or your high-ranking units out of dangerous way. Um, so uh, we had another unit type as well. We had motorized recon. We also have attack helicopters, uh, and I like the idea of that. So I think I'm gonna disband one of the units here. Oops, that was an airstrike. A little yeah, bit too close. Uh, <laughs> I, we we were just lucky then. I think he planned it, and it was he came too late. Yeah, yeah. It's important to be. Uh, time them just right. Uh, so strikes can obviously turn turn the tides in a close battle, but you can it's hard to win. You can obviously not win a, a battle with just strikes unless you're mm -hmm. really, really lucky. So okay. Oof, looks like our bot friend suffer, suffered a serious bl uh, blow up there, so we better... Yeah, because he's lost all those forces that were, were flying down that, that dual carriageway yeah. <laughs> and, and now we're not flying down that dual carriageway to our rescue. So I think we need some more firepower. So let's spend uh, some resources on another general uh, and bring in some armored forces um, Yeah, so, and some howitzer support. This will obviously drain most of our money, uh, but we I think this is an important part of the game, like our bot is in dire straits up there. So let's hurry up with some an armored company supported by a harvester uh, platoon. And we encountered some infantry here, which is <coughs> engaging our attack helicopters. And yeah, like, uh, like you mentioned, terrain, uh, very important for mobility, uh, mm -hmm. how quickly the units, but also line of sight, as you can see, the you see the fog is moving and it's a it uh, behaves very differently in different terrain types, and you can actually preview the the field of view by holding the middle mouse button and dragging your mouse cursor around. So you'll get a preview of what, yeah, how how scary things might be as soon as you enter into this area where the line of sight is severely uh, hindered. 
<laughs> Actually, I think we may be in luck with our oppo. He seems to be building up a new force as well. Have you noticed? Mm. Yeah. And we don't we ha we don't know exactly where our other enemy are situated. So are we almost uh, made uh, made it all the way to our ally. Mm -hmm. uh, and I want to get some more intel on the open areas using our helicopters. So I'm going to spread them out to get some vision on right over here and on our left flank. So here is a nice juicy target, but unfortunately it's screened by a lot of smaller units. So uh, okay, so this is turning into a messy. And this is this is suboptimal. We have battle tanks uh, charging headlong into a city, which is never a good idea. Uh, preferably, you you would like to use infantry here, since the infantry st have uh, very low default stats, and they are not that hindered by the terrain. While a battle tank obviously prefer open terrain, where it can use the full extent of the the firepower, firepower, and yeah, mobility and such. So yeah, this looks like we have enemy in this area and this area. So I would would guess that we have an AI on top there and one. I, you know, I don't area. think it's. A, I don't think it's. A, well, I don't think it's not. A, I think they are in that center area. In this area. Yeah, I think they're. They've because they've not broke out to the top left and taken those resources, and they've not taken the resources at the top of the map either. Yeah. They started taking the resources in between both of us. Yeah. This is an interesting unit here. We have a hunter killer helicopter, which has a one of the elite units I was talking about. So. Obviously, a very expensive unit. The AI uh, handle it kind of quite carelessly there, but yeah. Yeah, because we took it out completely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, got surprised by a huge blob uh, in the city. But yeah, the, the the benefit of that kind of unit is units generally target the closest unit within mm -hmm. its weapon range, but that unit actually targets the highest ranking unit, so it's has a little bit of <laughs> intelligence. So, actually, so when you're playing. Yeah. Um, you also, I think you need to explain, as an example, uh, if you've got uh, a leading unit that's out with subunits, how do you get the resources uh, quicker to that unit that's further away from home base? Yeah, so the reinforcements comes from our HQ. That's our yeah. Yeah, yeah. base of operation, our commander on the field. So, so having the HQ this close is obviously a very risky move. Uh, since this is this is this is that was why it was a leading question because I was thinking, <laughs> yeah, you seem to be pushing our base into the middle of a battle area. Yeah, <laughs> I, mean, I try to adapt to the situation. So obviously we need a quick reinforcements up in this area yes. as fast as possible. So I try to keep in close by, but always having uh, smaller units in between. But it's obviously a very very risky move uh, doing it like this. But I, I think this is the, yeah, the the situation we're in. We we need to get reinforcement there straight away. Try to secure this city if possible. Uh, mm -hmm. Our AI seems to s try to uh, fall back uh, into our units in the city, but um, obviously the unit coming this way on the flank as well. So it's yeah, it's turning out to be a real, real messy battle. This one. Uh, do you know that one on the right on its own on the roadway? Yeah. On the, uh, there, move that one up to the top. Yeah, move it to there for a second. Yeah, we can have a... It can provide us some nice intel from, from this area. Yeah, because we do seem to be having a lot of forces coming down. A lot, and not on that road, but near that road. Yeah. And we have... Uh, whoops, this is scary. We have uh, some enemy helicopters in that general area. Uh, I'm going to reinforce a little bit of our mm. tank platoon. Uh, but we have really hard time getting a hold on on the city and our recon forces so all over there all the way over there uh, also got taken out so we yes and also he's grabbing all of the resources points yeah this looks grim we have <laughs> we do need to some send get something going on this end so yeah let's let's send out another recon force while the mm -hmm. enemy is engaged over here and see if we can and I'm also going to put push my tanks forward and keep, leave the howitzer in, in this little nook here. Mm. But yeah, this is... Uh, 
battle tanks going up against infantry in a city is never a good situation. Uh, so we'll see if we can get... This unit can kind of pro provide intel on our right flank, but we, we lost yeah, this, yeah. this zone as well, so the enemy is really putting pressure on, on our we forces see, now. And they're, and they're grabbing all the resources like there's no tomorrow. Yeah, the enemy tend to play fairly aggressive like that. There was a huge hit though, and we have a nice strike coming in as well. We haven't talked much about the strikes, but we have uh, an EMP strike, which prevents mo enemy movement. Uh, and we also have the fuel air bomb, which is a very strong strike, but with a long deploy delay. Um, but we'll see, maybe we hit some juicy targets in this area. Um, oh, I thought you were going to go, and then we've got napalm, because then we can <laughs> use that reference, I love the smell of napalm in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We have those as well, but we'll see. Not not in this particular game. But... <laughs> not, not in this game. <laughs> always, always the way Fraser gets in with the punchline and then realizes that we haven't actually got it. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. Oh, this is a uh, yeah, yeah. HQ. Oh, yeah. That... Yes. This looks like the AQ. The the enemy has maybe got a little bit overzealous. So I will try to drop our EMP and try to mm. pin them in place and. Maybe see if we can f get some flanking firing from the left with our attack helicopters. Um, the howitzer are just uh, out of range for this area, so moving them up just a little bit would be would be nice to be able to put shells on this target. So maybe we can even send in. We can use our helicopters for recon and try to shell this area with our howitzer. So that's obviously. How we search, they have a special rule called indirect fire. Generally, units need their individual line of fire to the target, but how we search have the special rule that they can fire on friendly uh, line of sight. So you can use uh, recon, recon units, um, other units for... Oh, look at that. <laughs> oh, that's one base down. Boom, shotgun. It should go. make that sound now. Boom! <laughs> that's one down. <laughs> So I think we re really, really needed that little victory there, since the enemy. Yeah, has... I think, I think, I think we did because you know we were about to lose. Yeah, I mean, we were lucky that our, our AI guy mm. didn't get totally obliterated at that top area. Yeah, that was a bit of a rough start. It was kind of a race for mm. time between. So our AI friend, I think, were about to be sandwiched over here and. One of their AI was about to be sandwiched over here, and then obviously all the resources is located over here. So it's, yeah, it's you never know what you get in this kind of game, which I find very interesting. That every game is very unique, and they can take different turns. Uh, and also you, and, the, the way the maps are randomized. Yeah, like you showed, like you can go, oh, there was a lot of water on that one, and only two ways across on the last map. Yeah. Oh, let's see what. Let's see another one we do. Oh, for ten seconds later, ah, there's less water, but a big landmass in the middle. Yeah, I definitely like that aspect of the game, as a, having a huge variety of different <laughs> ways that the game can turn. And obviously, with you, you're not not always sure what unit types will be available as well, so you will have to adapt. I like like strategy games where you have to, you know, use the. Situate, analyze the situation at hand and try to act accordingly. Mm -hmm. So, okay, we have still have enemy targets in this city area, but since we opened up this area now, we can probably send up more recon units. Uh, so we have this little... This is our uh, company HQ for our recon, which have... You know, it actually two. looks like they took those resources and then cleared off. Yeah. Because we've not engaged anything along that route so far that's protecting those resources. Yeah, it looks like maybe it was this player who mo did most of the heavy lifting in this area and mm. now seemed to be up for grabs. But I'm still a little bit uh, uh, cautious with this push. It seems to be a lot of targets here and the harbiter is getting exposed up there. Mm. And I would prefer... So here is an interesting general. Uh, I think it might be time to... Let's see what we have in the roster. But it could be nice for... Uh, since the enemy is so close by, I think infantry... Uh, I think it's a really nice way to... to get the job down in, when they're... <laughs> Mopping up, in other words. Yeah, exactly. When they 
when we get these huge blobs of units fighting in dense terrain areas, that's when the infantry will definitely shine. You see they have a very low uh, base stats, uh, yeah. but that also means that they're not affected as much by the limitation also, of the city. Also, also, if we put them in the forest, yeah. they've, got, they've got cover. Yeah, for sure. And they have the howitzer support as well. So I think that's the way mm -hmm. we, we're going to do this. We plop down a few units of... Uh, let's do another company of infantry since they are the cheapest unit in the game. And let's lead the charge with them and try to keep our howitzer um, company uh, following close behind. Um, close, but not too close. Close, but too, <laughs> close, but not too close. Yeah. So this is our <laughs> or organization at the moment. We have our infantry yeah. regiment with two companies. We have our recon regiment, which um, got to take care of our howitzers as well. And then we have the helicopter branch out in this area. Um, so it's always a good idea to have a mental image of how things are connected together to be able to order them around efficiently. You see, I can, I can give orders to different uh, ranks, uh, you can say. So I can stay zoomed out and give most orders to... So moving, giving a multi-unit order to my HQ would move my entire force uh, to the point. Mm -hmm. But there's a very important strategic decision, what level of detail you want to work on. So you can stay zoomed out and work with mostly larger icons, or you can zoom right in and start microing individual platoons and squads and such. Um, so we have reached the fringe of the city. And they've got some big helicopters flying over those trees, have you noticed? Yeah. A kind of, and it's, it's the gunship variant, so they have the mm. indirect uh, support capabilities, which means they can stay in the outskirts and give fire support to units in the Oh, that's not a good sign. Oh, no. Oh, oh. oh dear. <laughs> yeah, our I, did, I did say, because I saw it coming from the other side of all. Oh, dear. That doesn't look like a good sign. Yeah. A little bit too close for comfort. I'm going to send my... Where's, what? I was going to say, where's our oppo going? He seems to be running further and further down the map rather than sticking with us. Have you noticed? Yeah. Yeah, it looks like he's about to cross over in this area and establish some... Oh, here comes a big force. Well, that is a huge force. Yeah. So in this situation, I'm looking at the roads. So the roads lead right up here. So that's that's uh, in in preparation for that. Let's set up our infantry. Uh, mm -hmm. Obviously, they're very slow, but we try to set up <laughs> a desperate perimeter around here uh, when they arrive, and we we'll see if we can give them well, a that warm. Is a, that is a huge force coming. Have you seen it on that road? Yeah, they just keep coming. Uh, so yeah, hopefully we'll be set up in time uh but yeah if we, w if we wouldn't have the spotters there that could be a nasty surprise for us if we were halfway up there and they came in our rear and um yeah that would be bad news so here they come uh luckily we have now we have a nice <laughs> nice welcome for them in the city <laughs> and the howitzer is giving them also hard time yeah, yeah yeah and our hq is nicely secure in the back and our uh, AI friends seem to have a nice perimeter there as well. So this is a this is a massacre. <laughs> you can see all the little flashes there. Um, but yeah, it's all it's all thanks to the recon which we have over here, and what we're able to do the quick uh, mm -hmm. quick maneuver. So I think I think that was about all of them. Let's send our recon forward and see what we go, got, and then move our entire regiment up to this point. Was the enemy? I think the enemy has suffered. Some huge blows. Um, yeah, and also yeah. their resources, they're only now down to one. Yeah. And the joke, and the thing is, if you look, if yeah. they've got taken one resource, mm -hmm. but right next to it, if you go to the top, there's another resource available and they haven't taken that, which makes me think they just scouted around yeah. and just grabbed the resources and they went back into battle. Yeah. They probably had some quick change of, change of mind and <laughs> had to mm. consolidate forces downwards. You can also see some of the resource nodes have run out. So here, in the beginning of the game, there was a node somewhere down there. Uh, but yeah, nodes will run out throughout the game, and the, f the focus of the battle will move more towards the center of the map. So obviously, you don't want to go into the center too fast because defending from all directions is one is at once is can be very tricky. Uh, but you don't want to fall behind either because then you're going to be left out of all the resources. So that's something to be 
mindful of and kind of plan your approach to where the where the resources are and where they will remain. Uh, so okay, we this this seems to be where the enemy has set up huge the majority of the force. Uh, on the other side of this road. Um, so right do you, remember around... about, do you remember about ten minutes ago when I said just just send one all the way up that area, yeah, and just just open it up? <laughs> <laughs> and we seem to have forgotten to keep an eye on it because he definitely got blown out. <laughs> yeah, poor guy. We we'll <laughs> try to send the so I start a new company and I send two platoons. I will outfit it yeah. with two platoons. Uh, maybe we can go up this road and try to cut them off here. And we have our helicopters here as well. They can can maybe provide some useful information. Here comes a nice flank for our, from our AI. Yeah, um, yeah. And our infantry. So this is, yeah, once infantry get to actually get to the target, they're obviously very slow and vulnerable. But when they get there, they <laughs> there's kind of no stopping them. Uh, just having this huge wave of units just surging forward. Uh, Yeah, so it looks like we're cleaning this up pretty nicely. So where's the bus? Yeah. Did you know it's like, hold on a minute. <laughs> yeah, he probably he, he has to be here, yeah. Ah, there bingo. Yeah, there bingo, is. there he is. <laughs> I was trying to hide, but there is. <laughs> yeah, imagine if we went through and missed, and then it comes out. And <laughs> mm. Okay, so let's see. This is just a <laughs> fun clean up. And, and, and resupplies as well. <laughs> yep. I, st I still think you need to have a boom. boom, boom. <laughs> <laughs> Work on the finishing effect a little bit, yeah? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah, we obviously finished uh, the custom game. What was, that, what was our stats like? Yeah, let's have a look. So we have uh, kill, uh, kill death, HQ kill death ratio. So we killed uh, one HQ each. We can see the amount of resources, which were uh, so we killed uh, about 27k worth of resources and lost 13k. So yeah, we we had a pretty good ratio there, and we can also trace our earnings compared to the enemy. So it was was a really close game. Uh, I also like to look at this the little graph uh, graphics. <laughs> oh, you know where the yellow? You see where that yellow has gone all the way down on that map? Was that the bit where he was struggling and yeah. he was trying to get down to us? That's that moment, isn't it? Probably right in the beginning here, yeah, where, yeah, before we reached him, and then this was slowly crawling away up, but not not really getting there. But the AI also suffered some blows uh, here as well. You can always toggle between team and uh, individual players here, uh, and I can also toggle the colors. Uh, throughout this game, we played with team colors, so uh, ourselves are green, all our allies yellow, and the enemy red. But yeah, we also have our unique colors, which you can track separately. But yeah, so it's. It was a bit of a messy game, a uh, lot of back and forth, but uh, we managed to come out ahead uh, in the end. What I also uh, like uh, to do, I, sorry? I was going to say, I was, gonna say I, I was slightly worried then, because I was thinking, well, this is going to be a great tutorial, right? Or custom game, because mm -hmm. we lost. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but that's the thing with this game. There's always uh, a possibility to come back, since you, you have this tree of units and if you actually manage to snipe a high ranking unit you can make huge advantages in no time so that you should never give up uh, in a game of war no you can always if you get a lucky unit to sneak by or just a lucky strike you can you can get there but yeah obviously yeah you, you were gonna say what you like and then i interrupted so what was the thing that you liked yeah I, the, I... <laughs> so we have this little rewind button here which is can can um uh, give some nice uh, insights in what actually wow, happened. Wow, look where he actually started, in that right top cor uh, corner. Mm -hmm. So this was, uh, yeah, so there was kind of a race uh, against time here. If we managed yeah. to sandwich this guy before they sandwich our bot. But mm. also also you can't commit too many resources to this area because then all the all the actual resources is in the other side of the map. So yeah, very interesting dilemma. I think we definitely made the right decision going amphibious first and crossing the water. Otherwise, we would have been stuck in this dense terrain and uh, it probably would have been too late by that point. We would have been forced to fight. No, two... The thing is, we'd have been too late because between the two of them, mm. they'd have taken out the yellow guys, basically. Yeah, we would just have been gotten here and then we have to charge across open ground and against two bots. Yeah. And yeah, that would, would have been terrible. So... Uh, but yeah, I like watching these replays and the after game discussions can be uh, almost as fun mm. as the game itself. So I like to fast forward and we can have a quick look at uh, how, how the flow of the game went. Uh, 
And there's also you can you can track different players' perspective, and uh, we can follow our have the camera follow our uh, camera moves throughout the game. Uh, so this is our recorded uh, camera for the game. But yeah, this looks like <laughs> huge force was hiding in this forest as we entered. Uh, and this guy is also not slacking. This is <laughs> yeah, this is really scary for our friend. Luckily, like, has this to. Is a, I don't know how he survived because it's really quite messy. Yeah. Probably due to the terrain. The terrain probably played a huge part in this, since fighting through cities is always slow and uh, chaotic and uh, involves a lot of casualties. So, yeah. Actually, managing to tie the enemy down up here and for just the right amount of time for us. But yeah, <laughs> this is. Yeah, it's a good job really we scary. decided to go uh, in, in that direction and go up. Yeah. Rather than the other way, because we don't just walk straight into him. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, trying to cross here would have been uh, yeah. devastating. Because we did kind of go the wrong way up, if that's the case. But yeah. actually, it turned out to be the right way up. Yeah. And this looks like the point where they kind of realizes their, the threat is coming from this way. So it's starting to set up the forces in my way. And mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so now we have two fronts to... To deal with while the while the recon is out and about and yeah stealing all the all the resource nodes um, but yeah that's a that's a we will we'll know how it ended and <laughs> um, I think that was a pretty exciting match that was, yeah that, that was my heart beating <laughs> yeah, yeah. we were uh, we were a lucky match yeah and, and and talking about other things i think now actually now that that's the custom is over mm -hmm. is we could show our new treat because it there's not much to show but uh, it'll give players something new to think about um in a few months time when this becomes available so do you want to upload that and then we can have a look at it so like we mentioned in the beginning um uh, i've been uh, working on multiple parts uh, but this is one of them which i'm excited to show uh, which is the map editor for the game uh, oh. so i actually i obviously the main idea for warnoy is i like this randomized map and uh, yeah letting the game surprise me with different scenarios and stuff but i also think it's as the game grows and develops it's interesting to see what what you can do manually so this is the idea of this is to be a super simple easy tool to yeah just Plop some terrain down. You have some brushes. You can change your brush size. You have uh, different terrains, the different terrains in the games that you can draw, and you have the good old paint bucket and uh, and a little line tool uh, if you want to do uh, terrain like this. Uh, and I can obviously preview the the map with the in-game graphic, how how it would actually look in game. Um, Oh, actually, hold on. So that could be a castle. Yeah. So that's that's one thing that the map editor, uh, the the which the random terrain will probably not yeah. generate, or very uh, very unlikely that it would. But yeah, th those kind of idea ideas starts coming out. So let's do some some kind of military base installation. We do some <laughs> compound areas, maybe some walls and uh, one up here, maybe. And well, then that we can slow, that would also slow the opposition coming towards you as well yeah uh, this, this red dot is uh, the representation of roads uh, since you you, you do want to know what kind of terrain type there is yeah, yeah. underneath the road but so i'm going to do a quick little road network uh, like this and then when we press the preview button we get something uh, that looks like this <laughs> nice. <laughs> uh, and you can go in you can go in yeah do it how deep how, how how much detail you want but yeah you can do some some more compounds, maybe <laughs> some barracks or something. Um, and I'm going to fill this up with road as well, I think, and have a little bit of road in between with a small brush. Um, but what's also is cool that I can, I can preview the field of view uh, as well as I go. So I can kind of plan out the scenario uh, mm -hmm. as, you, uh, yeah, as you go along. So yeah, idea, very, very simple tool to draw some terrain and um, get very different types of maps and uh, uh, one of the things that really excites me also is trying to recreate re recreate real world scenarios um, so I, I would like to introduce this little feature where you can actually 
import uh, <coughs> sorry import uh, images into the map editor. So there's going to be this special folder in, uh, in the in the game yeah. folder where you can put uh, reference images and you can like. Uh, oh, I blend, recognize that map. <laughs> blend between it, yeah, Gothenburg, yeah, good yeah. old Gothenburg. <laughs> so I actually did this uh, yesterday. Um, if we load this up, uh, so this is the map that I draw uh, from this map. So I just traced over it. Um, and you have to be a little bit creative which roads you choose to keep and what terrain types you use. But yeah, yeah, yeah. and it takes a little while, but then then you get a, <laughs> can get a real, real world location down like this uh, and fight over your hometown or something. And you can obviously, like I can, as I watch the reference image, I can pan and rotate and scale it as well. So gives you some flexibility there for recreating different scenarios. Um, that is cool. I'm impressed with that. That's, an, that's, that's a neat evolution of the game. Yeah, um, doing so, huh? that. That's, that is quite cool. But I think now, mm -hmm. we, we, I think now we, it's that moment. It's that moment where basically I start running with my forces and going random and manic, <laughs> and, and you play strategic and smart and don't <laughs> die. But that's okay, because I will take a lot of forces down with me. Yeah. So sh should we play against the bots? Let's do it. Let's, kick. <laughs> Let's do it. Okay, so <laughs> jumping into the multiplayer, shall we? Uh, joining the EU um, servers and creating a game. Uh, so it should be up and running. Okay, so I join now then, yep. Yeah. Multiplay, and then I go uh, choose region, go EU. Yep. <laughs> and then go refresh. Ah, there you are. Yeah. Welcome, Fraser. <laughs> so, uh, what I like to do uh, for introduction uh, when introducing players to the game is to play. There is obviously tools uh, to balance the game a little bit. You have this income yeah. handicap where you can kind of modify all the money earnings for the player. Uh, but what I also like to do is the team up versus the AI, which, yeah, is what we talked about. Uh, so let's do uh, two versus one. You want a particular color? Yeah, yeah. Um, no, red's a good one because that's red for danger. Red for enemy. You are yellow. Yeah, red for it. I'm yeah. The gray player. We play with all our units and. Are you Are you not going to give us more money? Oh gosh. <laughs> <laughs> I think this map looks looks interesting, <laughs> but I, I like the huge land masses. It's my yeah, favorite. Yeah. So oh, this is interesting. Oh, I, I, no, I need to click. So I'm ready. All right. So we have some nice distribution. So I, we, let's boot up the game and we can do a quick tactical pause and discuss our situation. So yeah, I'll jump right in. We're doomed. We're doomed. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so quick pause. We have uh, we actually managed to start right next to each other this time. Uh, That's a good sign. So, uh, but we obviously don't ha have any idea what, where the enemy is. We have a huge city area in the top where there's four points. And we have some kind of middle line there. So yeah, what do you think? Should I? Uh, should, we, should we put a guess where he may be? Um, so I'm sure. going to put a, a marker. I think he's. Um, I think he's here. <laughs> yeah, you can do this little. Uh, there's this little <laughs> ping command that you can use. There. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that'll do. That, I think those. That's where he's going to be. Either one of those two. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I'm going to jump right in then. So I unpause the game and. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and deploy some um, mechanized recon, which is a slightly heavier version of the motorized recon. They're medium firepower, um, but they can, uh, they're amphibious. Yeah, and, I'm uh, just, just deciding who should I get. Um, you're going for the uh, mechon and howitzers. Did you go for howitzers? Uh, um, gunships as my second unit. Yeah, gunships. So. So my plan is just rush uh, forward through the road there, and we'll see what we get. Uh, if you could establish something uh, up north, try to yeah, yeah. scout out the city, that would be perfect. And we'll see what that would keep us pretty much covered. And just in case, I think I'm going to throw away, throw down one unit in this area, just just so we don't have any silly flanks coming from down south. Mm. 
So are you getting any forces uh, for one? Yeah. Oh. oh, yes. I'm booking in some... Um, going to get some units not deployed yet, so... Mm. We have some uh, activity in the left area. An enemy just... Oh, yeah. Cool. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. we have Now we have a pretty good idea of what's happening. Uh, so we'll try to meet the enemy head on in this forest area. And you went for battle tanks. That's a nice choice. Yeah, um, I'm just I'm just gonna go along this route first. I think before I go and use all my resources, I just want to open up this area. Yeah, yeah. As you can see, I'm I'm not I haven't booked much stuff yet. <laughs> yeah, but I think the idea is is a good idea. Yeah, yeah. Just remember to stay out of uh, dense terrain as much as possible. You know, they will do a really good, nice job uh, out in the desert and the forest areas. But yeah. So yeah. up, up north will probably be a really nice way for you to expand. Oh, I missed the flag in, in the corner there. Uh, looks like my recon is making some way forward. Uh, I'm, I'm going um, to drop this here just because they've taken resources there, so there may be something <laughs> happening there, yeah? Oh, yeah. Now we, got, now we have the napalm. <laughs> just a little bit of... Score we don't know what's there. there, but the thing, the fact that it's taken some resources, that means it's it. There will be some forces near there. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, that's a good guess. So yeah, obviously there is a short deploy delay for all of the strikes, but yeah, they will recoup, replenish, and yeah, so you can you can go for a gamble. It's a totally valid valid strategy. <laughs> um, so no contacts yet. Uh, so I keep clearing out this forest area, and I'm gonna spread out among these three areas as I go. Oh, you have a huge force, actually. <laughs> yeah, well, I do like my large forces, but I'm going in a slightly risky way anyway. Yeah, because I'm behind. We've not been attacked from behind, so there's nothing. He wasn't there, so yeah. that's good. Yeah, I think well, I do want to. I do want to get these resources, but I don't want to basically lose the advantages of this. This middle area. Look at that. That he's just taking those resources there. Did you see that? Yeah. Anyway, it's so about. He's, so, he, so he's branching out. I do you know what? I I love this this system, by the way. Yeah. It takes a little bit getting used to. It's not not like your usual strategy game where you box things. But when when it kind of clicks, it clicks. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Exactly. And I think it works very nicely in tandem with the zoom as well. Like you zoom out and. You tend to start to focus more on the bigger sized icons. There's obviously also options for tweaking the size uh, if you prefer. It's one way or another, but uh, yeah, it's a definitely a core part of the game. Uh, the hierarchy and the, um, the the force organization. Yeah, I just need to pull him back. Oh, here we go. <laughs> I got contact here. We have motorized recon. Uh, just in the edge of the forest there. Yeah, yeah. And that is obviously a cheaper unit than my uh, mechanized recon. So it would be foolish of me just to run in there with my recon forces, which I paid a fortune for. Ah, oh, that's a nice, nice soft them up a bit. <laughs> yeah, that's what I think. I saw that you'd opened them up. So they are <laughs> making that way across the map. So it's kind of like, the, we don't know what's there. There may not be much there. Yeah. Or he's just, he's just gambling and sending out forces yeah. to see what's out there. So Let them have some. I, I throw away my missile as well. But yeah, I didn't find any targets. So. But oh, look, look, who's, look who's here. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to do some, some maneuvering. And it's nice, yeah. Oh. You're getting a nice perimeter up there with stretching the forces out up north. Uh, yeah. Okay, so so this is the kind of the point of the game where where I want to make a decision. Either I want to keep uh, staying with these different unit types, or I can go for another general. Last game we went for two generals early on in yeah. the game, but this time I actually think I'm going to rely more on my. Uh, on my motorized recon side, I'm I'm gonna stick with this general for a while and with just this general for a while and sp uh, spend the resources on another company instead and see if we can maybe tie them down around this flag and go around. You south. know what? My hmm? favorite button is definitely B in this game. <laughs> yeah, because it's it's just the way you you 
it breaks down like where you when you are desperately looking like where which forces is which yeah you can go okay so uh, where is he oh he's around here so that's fine so i know if i pull him up now mm-hmm. yeah that's all his forces yeah so and, and i know at the moment there's not much happening up around here because i've got him covering i've got him coming i've got those so he's going to be definitely around this area so i'm actually going to push still in open ground here because i think yeah. it's worth the risk yeah, just be careful with your lead tank there. It looks like your company commander has a... No, 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 no. What I do is I do use him and then pull back. Yeah, okay. Like a bait. <laughs> yeah, that, that, yeah, well, basically, yes. Basically, yes. I, I do take him because he... Because that one runs out quite fast and forward. Yeah. Yeah. yeah? as lead but then i do deliberately because i've been where i've been playing is is shoving it with the forces and then pulling it back knowing that they can take a beating yeah, yeah that's and, right. and and he's still accessible to play no matter what happens but mm. i may have lost some forces some resources along the way but it's worth the gamble yeah i gotta well, provide bang. A... Oh, oh nice both nice. of us <laughs> <laughs> Uh, ouch! Uh, yeah, you just threw some of my for your for own forces, I think, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, it was the enemy strike. Yeah, yeah. But let's see if we can get some. Oh yes, nice yes. missile hit there. <laughs> nice hit. Oh, my top one's in trouble up there. Oh, I didn't notice that. Right, let's do a quick run away. Yeah. Uh, pull you back over to protect. Pull you over. Yeah, and when you got time for it, maybe you can send uh, just a single unit back to uh, yeah take out this flag. Uh, just a little tiny bit of extra resources, which might, which might make a difference. You never know. Oh, uh, it did take out my forces then, didn't you notice that? Up north. Oh, yeah, yeah. look at that. They have uh, actually a lot of resources up there. So Okay, but so I'm going to play a little bit more aggressive, then I'm going to send all my recon forward into the city. Uh, and my gunship is also going to head on to. I'm going to reinforce my platoon actually and have two. two well, we uh, know that. I think they are definitely in this direction. Yeah, it seems to be the majority of the force. Uh, okay, so I have just a sneaky platoon. I like those little sneaky recon units uh, just to. Have some intel of what's happening on the flank, and if it's open, you can always use them to kind of give the enemy some na nasty surprises or just. Well, I'm I'm going to have a, uh, an airstrike available in a moment, so nice. And and I think it's by your lit there. See that area there? Mm -hmm. I think that base is not far from there. Yeah. That's a I've got, have you noticed? Have you noticed? I've got some forces now going up around the top, around the back, hopefully to get around the back of it. Yeah. Because you're taking a bit of a pounding down there. Yeah, didn't went, didn't went uh, too well. <laughs> my push. Uh, luckily, we have some reinforcements waiting. So, but yeah, we did did lose. I did lose some of my gunships as well, and they they are really pricey units, uh, five hundred each. Uh, so I'm gonna leave them back for a while and let your tank engage the targets in the in the dense terrain. Uh, I think I've got a feeling it's he's around here somewhere. Yeah. yeah Maybe you, you should bring. What's the, are you taking those resources then? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I can send out something up north as well, since I have the fast. Yeah. The fast. Uh, yeah, I'm going to put something mobility. through the middle. I'm going to risk one, put it through the middle, see if it opens up. Yeah, you have the brute brute strength. <laughs> Battle tanks is. It's a nice option. Okay, so yeah, this is what I'm talking about. My my little recon squad uh, actually took out two of the resource nodes here, so then we will have to make a response. Either commit some of the forces in this area backwards and uh, take it back. Oops! What? <laughs> oh no, they came from down there. <laughs> oh god, they took my base out. Oh, do you know I hadn't even watching my base? Oh no, 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 no. <laughs> Ouch! Oh no, no. I was so not bothering watching my base. I was so more interested in doing that attack up there. Do, do, do. All right. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. It, we can, can still win this. That can happen, yeah. Well, I we did a good job of softening them up for you. <laughs> yeah, I think so. It's, uh, yeah, but it's, that, those things can definitely happen. You, you, while you're committing uh, to the front line and. 
I was so you know what I was so concentrating in that one area because I knew it was in that area. Yeah? yeah, and it was I wanted my guys to come round the back, forgetting to watch yeah. what was actually happening to my base. Oh, that was that was a bad move. <laughs> yeah, there's lots of angles that you have to keep track of. Oh, look at this, my my push didn't do too well. Um, no, it didn't actually. Yes, it's, I think you're in trouble as well now. <laughs> but we. <laughs> Infantry worked nicely last time, so yeah, let's let's go for a nice. Thing is, though, it it shouldn't have that much. Uh, it's still got a bit of resources. It's it's still going out for resources, though. Yeah. Yeah, we're resorting to guerrilla tactics from now on. I'm yeah switching to sheep units and try to get some cost-efficient trades in the urban areas. And, no, uh, quite sneaky. If you look at the top of there, where that one is, which has been attacking your forces now, yeah. Oh yeah, there is a recon. That was that wasn't anywhere near that. Yeah, I'd yeah, be curious to have a watch on the replay and see what yeah. where the yeah, enemy actually came from. <laughs> yeah, because it seems it seems to have come from multiple directions. Yeah, yeah, the AI are quite sneaky like that. They try to mm. use multiple angles and, uh, um, yeah. Keep you on your toes, basically. <laughs> is, is that the posh one that's coming across now with the bow tie? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> posh Tally <bow> ho! <laughs> Tally ho! <laughs> what do we have? We have a radar helicopter. Yeah, this is an also special unit. It can. Uh, it has uh, full vision in into uh, all kind of terrain. Uh, Okay, so we are slowly building our forces back up. I uh, have now have an enti entire company worth of uh, infantry units, and we go for another one. Did you take out that top one, by the way? Nah, I the enemy is still did. here, I think. Which oh, one? Is he? Yeah, so the enemy, I managed to get them to retreat in this area. I will mm. send my recon forth, forward, and uh, yeah, but now they are here, actually. Yeah, so go for all the strikes. Oops, there's some infantry. So let's see what we have. Uh, looks like the enemy was doing a big transition in this area, so maybe we can cut cut some of the, their forces off by like, cutting this part off and uh, just keep pushing through with the infantry. The, th the thing is, though, if we commit too much uh, infantry in this area, we might be stuck here and the enemy can run around and capture all the zones. So it's, it's all about yeah. the right balance of... Uh, I know, exactly. And we've got that one back, but there is still a rogue unit up there somewhere. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. definitely need to take care of this. And they will reach all the way down there. So, yeah. <laughs> Slowly building out the image of the yeah this is getting dangerously close to my hq but i like i like to play pretty risky with my hq it's sometimes... it, i wasn't playing risky with my hq i thought i'd left it in a safe zone because and i'd forgot to keep my eye on it yeah because i was so busy attacking at that point that i'd forgot maybe you should keep an eye on what's going behind you phrase app oh too late <laughs> yeah it's it's a hard decision uh i think it's you don't want to leave them too far forward because then they obviously can be overrun or too far back because then you also can lose the perspective. And the joke so. is, I had, some, I had some good units as well. Yeah. We, were, we were clearing up at that point. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'll try to. I'll try to avenge you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Check this out. I've poured all the way through there. Uh, hey, did he take your forces out? Oh, no, they're up the top now, traveling around. Yeah. I'm, I'm surprised you're going that far up, actually. And yeah. you wouldn't have come, come down a bit closer down the middle area yeah. just to see where he is. I think this guy's job is just to be as annoying as possible and run around here and try to... Oh, um, right, okay. <laughs> try to keep them as busy as possible. Obviously, a nice counter to that would be to hunt them down with helicopters because... Yes. Yeah, then you can all... Can choose where and when you want to fight, but it um, uh, looks like the enemy has their helicopter force mostly in this area. So 
and uh, yeah, how we search in cities is always scary as well because yeah, like like I said, they can fire on other units' line of sight, and obviously in cities you can. Most units would struggle with line of sight, but yeah, how we yeah, search yeah. can really really do some damage there. So I'm a little bit. I'm thinking what what type of push I want to do if I want to go for more recon and run up this road. But last time it was a, I was trying well, that with two companies. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I, on the one on the left hand side where you've got that one unit on its own. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they did go and attack that, and yeah. you held it off, and then they scuttled away. But where did they go to? Yeah. That's a good question. Because you hadn't got much forces left there after they'd attacked you, but it literally had made a decision like, yeah, okay, uh, I've done as much as I can, or you did take them all out. Yeah. Because all, all I remember seeing was just one unit still traveling away from the battlefield. Yeah, I'll sending another unit there to see what what, what type mm. of forces would be in this area. But here comes here comes another push, it looked like. Oh, it's a lot of howitzers as well. Uh, this guy will. These guys will. <laughs> or maybe actually, this, it's better to stay and protect. I could run there, but I might lose. Um, might run into an ambush and lose them all. I think. I, th I think this is the last gamble. Yeah, I look. This is a huge push going on. Yeah, because you've still got a lot of resources. Yeah. And and, and I the amount of resources thrown into this battle. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's a meat have you, grinder. Have you, have you noticed we've been calling in he all the time? <laughs> yeah. I didn't mean to. <laughs> it's just, it's just, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> boy, mate, boy, mate, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's... Okay, oh, that's well, it totally went out. Did you see that explode then? Yeah. I would have hoped for some, some critical damage there, but uh, mm. not this time. So the enemy really wants this zone and this area of control. But yeah, now we, now we can see the battlefield have diminished quite a bit. So many of the zones at the edges have uh, been all exhausted. Um, and I think, yeah, so now, now we're actually going to be some, a little bit more cautious with the, actually, the resources that we have. We have a thousand more credits to spend. And he has yeah, three loads, loads of money. Just buy loads of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Go mad. <laughs> we 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 have taken plenty of uh, losses in this area. So oh, yeah, where actually. where will the fi final battle be? I think the enemy is somewhere around here. They're obviously channeling troops down here. Uh, so I want to try to uh, maybe recon is the right way. What's I would some... use helicopters and just scout. Use three helicopters and just get out out an open area. Yeah, you know what I'm gonna do. So I, I'm gonna send just a few recon vehicles and I try to support them with the helicopters. Yes. That I got. How does that sound? Oh, see him up there. Oh, we have contact in the north as well. Yes. Yeah. So that probably was the right decisions. Keep them. I was about to move them there, but now they are fully engaged with enemies, so we would have lost these two points. Uh, and, the, and the one with the bow ties is still going uh, around looking for the... Where's that bottle of champagne? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> is this the casino? <laughs> looking for the money. Yeah, there is. <laughs> uh, here he comes again. <laughs> yeah, but this is, this is scary. So the enemy know exactly what we are up to here now. Since yeah. they, they are within their radar range, so... If they were to bring harvesters up, they would actually be able to fire um, straight at us. So, okay, I'm going to reinforce our two infantry companies because I think they are going to be essential in the final battle. And um, looks like we managed to take these two zones back without mm -hmm. much fighting. So, we're going to bring out our little helicopters and see. I'm going to really, really carefully move forward and see if we can find some exposed units because I have no <laughs> no real idea what, what is in this area. You see, the, the fog of war is kind of... Ooh. Uh, they are still there. For sure. that, and they are still there, coming, yeah. Yeah, do you see that what's coming up the road behind you? Yep, they are. 
all around us. So yeah, probably best to stay in this dense area. You see, as soon as we put, set foot outside of here, we starting getting shelled. So mm -hmm. uh, keep them suppressed with the uh, strikes. And as as soon as they engage the enemy, I want oh, sorry our gunships to be within range as well. So I'm gonna keep them just behind and uh, try to set these guys up. And uh, that top unit is really taking a bit of a pounding at the moment, but it, it seems to be hanging on. Yeah. <laughs> Oof. Yeah, maybe it's time to re retreat with these guys. Uh, at the moment, it's well, no, it's actually. It's got it's one mechanic verse. Oh no, actually, yeah, there's one verse three. Yeah. Now you're running away. Yeah, I'm thinking it's time for re retreating. Uh, yeah, there. yeah. But maybe we can do some sneaky attack with them coming in from this angle, and maybe that will open up the. This is a nice opportunity to open up this push. Um, yeah, do you want to try and grab that resource that's right in front of you? Yeah. But we have. So, look, check this out. So as soon as we. Let's send one poor squad out <laughs> and see what we yeah. get. This far, I think that we have started receiving shells as soon as we set foot outside the city. But maybe, yeah, that's yeah. what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> this is the no man's land for sure. Um, yeah, and they're coming from the north as well. So I think we need some reserves. Actually, we need we need uh, extra. Infantry uh, for when these, when or if the these pushes actually manage to break through. So I'm gonna s slowly fall back with our front company, and I'm gonna bring up the bring the res reserves up uh, and try to set up a new per new perimeter in this area, <coughs> so they don't come come in from the rear there. And how is our flank going? They're running. So I'm going to do a quick rearrangement so the uh, lead, lead unit don't go in first. And then we run forward. And he, maybe he, they would provide some nice intel for our strikes as well if they, if they manage to find something there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because yeah, they're slowly making their way down, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah, they are eating, eating, them, eating into our territory. <laughs> this guy is... Oh, they've reached this flag now. So they are all all around us in this area now. Which is a very interesting development, remember. We started out here and now suddenly the front have shifted to the right side yeah. instead. So it's very dynamic in that way. That's that's another thing I really like. I think this game does differently. Like the fronts can constantly change and depending on where the HQs are, uh, you'll get all these interesting dynamic fronts. Okay, here we go. Let's see what we can what we can find. So this guy is going to run <laughs> straight ahead uh, into the city, and I have both my strikes ready for for what we what we might find. And you know what? Well, it'll probably be there's nothing there because <laughs> ah. it's moved because it's moved again. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. But that's also good intel. Otherwise, we might have striked this area and. Would have been a wasted strike, but here, here we have some fine targets. Mm. It looks like they might have retreated. So now, now we're going to use safe move. Usually, I, I I give commands with a shift where we where they try to find the fastest possible way. Now I give a regular command. So you can see this infantry here. They they try to avoid the open terrain and the stay inside. Ooh, nice ambush of tanks here. Yes, I was going to say they seem to have actually come from behind. Yeah. Yeah, they have been all the way down there. Ooh, that was a nice strike. So even though we didn't see the units in this area, a redirecting yeah, the strike did. here was a good idea. That was a huge hit. Um, yeah, totally. That took a lot of forces out. Yeah. So we're setting up. Now they're I'm running away again. Ooh, that was neat. Oops, there comes a strike. Oops. <laughs> And as you can see in the bottom bar, we actually have lost all the locations on the map, which is yeah, yeah. Uh, one way that you can win the battle. One way is obviously killing the HQ, and uh, mm -hmm. secondary way is keeping and holding all the zones on the map, 
which will be easier and easier to do since the at the end of the game there will only be one remaining zone and yeah all everything will boil down to that uh, at that point uh, so but yeah we, we really need to it would be really nice to stop the <laughs> the timer that we have hanging over us at this point Yes, because the timer is is eating in. It's like it's four minutes and twenty six seconds to go. Yeah, and we are running at double game speed as well, so that's why it yeah jumps two steps at a time. <clears throat> oh, there's the oh, there's, <laughs> it's the bow tie. <laughs> Our old friend again. <laughs> yeah, it exactly. just keeps on popping up and then clearing off. <laughs> yeah. We had a nice ambush going on here. We, we killed a lot of vehicles, we can see from the wreckages. Uh, this area, our infantry did a phenomenal yeah, yeah. job. Uh, and here they come again. Uh, now they probably feel the pressure from this point and they try to get us to commit forces uh, have again. You force, have you seen any forces you've got on the other side now coming here? Yeah. Oh, what is this? There's much more forces than I anticipated. Yeah. <laughs> So maybe recon is not uh, the way to take this point. Then maybe we actually need to send an entire company of infantry over there. Since yeah, we are... I, you know, sometimes you have to take the risk, and the way the timing is going at the moment. Yeah. I think we need to basically do three point three points. So that group here take go forward. This group go. Oh, there he is now. So he's moved from the bow tie. And he's mm. moving across open terrain now to join his forces up there. Look, see. Yeah. So maybe are. we should maybe we should get everyone now to follow him and take him as he's moving before he gets to the city. Yeah. It makes it too it makes it too difficult to actually us to get at it. Yeah, sounds like a good idea. I, I'm committing my forces up yeah. to the north. We have a little bit of recon here. He can't have that much resources left. No. And it, if you notice, he is doing a runner in the same direction. Everything is now going that way. Yeah. Yeah, it is just this part. Ooh, scary strike. <laughs> it is just yeah, this little well, area left to fight over. So, yeah, it's, it's a good job we move. It's a good job we move them, by the way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so our infantry company is uh, getting to their destination, and our gunships are doing a nice job suppressing the enemies out in the open. So I'm gonna set these guys up uh, just around the point. And they can get some support from this uh, mechanized unit. I'm going to get rid of that radar helicopter. Yeah, it's uh, really annoying. <laughs> <laughs> Knowing that the enemy has full full vision. <laughs> mm, exactly. Our... We've got anything we can use to attack it. I'm trying to hunt it down with my infantry, mm. but it's just it's slipping away. <laughs> mm. So this is, this is a really tense game. We're really hanging on now for... For the final, final move, but so I'm gonna do an, another sneaky, sneaky little Ooh, move with this okay. guy. He's been taken out. Nice. Yeah, we sound got him. Oh, yeah. an HQ. Yeah, that's oh, no. oh, oh. <laughs> got him. <laughs> yeah, we won. yeah, we won there. Yeah, we did a good job there. <laughs> I softened them up, and you took the last bits. <laughs> Oh, that was, that was awesome! That was a good game. <laughs> that was an exceptionally good game. And as always, it's it's always nice with a with a quick replay feature. Mm -hmm. Just having a quick look what what was actually happening. Uh... Oh, I dropped out. Oh yeah, uh, since I started the replay, yeah. So yeah, yeah. the game is basically over at that point. So yeah, you're watching the replay and on your own. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, since since the match is uh, literally over, but yeah. So as I'm, <clears throat> but it's interesting to see the the various fronts that was developing, and uh, yeah, I'm curious to see where the where the forces came from, where they left, uh, where they managed to f outflank us. Uh, well, I have to say that was awesome. I yeah. mean, as a multiplayer goes. Whoa! I kind of made a bit of a mistake, but hey, I did take some forces with me. Granted, yeah, they definitely. seem to have a lot more, a lot more forces than we thought. To be honest, yeah. um, but that was awesome, man. Thank you for your time. Oh. Hopefully, everyone will enjoy that as much as we both did, yeah. right? And and more and more people now will kind of go, you know, multiplayer. 
Gotta play that multiplayer. It's way <laughs> cool. And yeah. it's it's really simple but quite complicated at the same time. Yeah. Easy to learn, impossible mm -hmm. to master, as the saying goes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> That's exactly. The holy grail of uh, design. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah, I really enjoyed that. It was a yeah. really fun game. <laughs> well, right. I will speak to you when I speak to you next, man. Thank you for your time. Thank you, man. All right. <laughs> Cheers. Ciao.